Y'all, what up, homies? It's your boy. Coming at you today with a, not a review, not a reaction, just a story. A little tale, if you will, from my youth. And it's a story I'm sure uh, a lot of you can relate to. And before I get to the story, and I know what y'all are thinking, Ed, that background, it's so plain, you need to hang some shit up, get a statue or something. Look, I'm trying, y'all. I went to the thrift shop, I picked up these Harry Potter books. So now I got a little bit of pizzazz in here. But back to the story. Today's story is about my first fight. And like I said, I'm sure a lot of y'all can relate to this because we all, you know, we're all young at some point. We all have situations that get a little hostile. Most of us anyway. And we, have, we find ourselves in that situation where it's fight or flight. So my story begins seventh grade. We in the locker room after gym class. And the way my locker room was set up, and probably a lot of y'all's locker rooms, is there's an island of lockers. And then you got like some benches and shit kind of around it. And then you've got uh, like some showers and a bathroom. I'm in the middle. I'm changing my shirt. You know, your boy's sweaty. Got my shit up like this. These two fools in there, these two dummies, they was playing around. They were being a couple horses, you know, playing, being, being, a, little, being a little rough, getting some shenanigans. They run around, I'm up like this, dude runs smack into my damn elbow, okay? About knocks his own damn self out. This dude about stumbled, he got dizzy, got a little teary-eyed. He looked at me and he said, you're going to pay for this, meet me in the bathroom. I said, we in a bathroom. And he looked shook, you know, he didn't think your boy was quick like that. He said, no, meet me in the seventh grade hall bathroom. So I thought nothing of it, you know, I figured this boy, there's people around, he's trying to save face, not seem like a bitch, so he, you know, he has to call me out. So I say, whatever. That gets done with, I'm heading back to class, going through the seventh grade hallway, walking past the bathroom. All of a sudden, my buddy pops out the door like he had been keeping watch, like this motherfucker had binoculars. He, you know, that guy, he might be a peeping Tom, the way he was peeping, but he was looking for me, he saw me, he said, dude, come on, he's in here. Like, I had been hunting this motherfucker down. Like, where's he at? So anyway, I go, you know, I go up in there, and this shit, it's like a movie, like in a prison fight or something. Everyone's lined up. <clears throat> some of my boys, some of his boys, some boys that are neither of our boys. They just there to have a good time, I guess. And I thought this shit was about to be like gangs in New York, like a fucking just back alley bra. I said, y'all, I don't want nobody getting hurt. You know, ain't nobody gonna jump nobody, you know. And they said, nah, nah. We just want to watch the fight. You know, we're little boys. We don't get to see this very often. <laughs> Fair enough. I would have wanted to watch too. So this dude down there at the end, he fucking getting ready like a UFC fighter, man. He fucking slapping his wrists, slapping his knees and his legs and shit. And I'm not intimidated, but I'm worried. Because I'd never been in a fight before. I'd never hit nobody in the face. And I, I wonder if that's a fear that like a lot of people have at first. Is like, you know, just hitting someone in the face. Because... It's all, it, seems, it seems so much easier for me to hit somebody somewhere else. So I go at him, and I was kind of, you know, not taking it seriously, thinking we were going to laugh the whole thing off. I, you know, was grinning, didn't have my hands up, and that was my first mistake. Because this motherfucker came through with a hua and binked me right in the lip. And now it didn't fuck me up, it didn't shake me, but it did sting my, my lip a little bit. But what it really stung was my ego and my pride. Because now I had done been attacked in front of my boys. I have to respond. I can't be a bitch, you know? And so I was still scared to hit him in the face. So in that quick, you know, reflex situation where you got to think of something, I grabbed this dude by the back of the neck like I was a mama cat. You know, I'm about to fucking, um, you know, handle my kitties or something. Grab him by the neck, pull his head down. When I do that, this dude turns into a damn turtle. Like a ninja turtle, not with the fighting abilities, just the fact that this motherfucker retracted into his own body. He put his hand up like this, went into his shell. So all I got is the top of the head, and I'm punching it. I let go, I start punching with both hands, because now he ain't even fighting back. He's just doing this. This motherfucker, top of his head, was getting red. And, you know, I wasn't throwing them bombs on him, but you can hit with enough little fucking soft little kid fists, man. I got them kid gloves on. You're going to get you some goose eggs. You're going to be a mama goose by the end of it, minding your damn nest. So he's got the goose eggs. I'm holding him. All of a sudden, like some kind of fucked up thing in a movie, this dude's buddy runs in. Like, you know, somebody had told him he caught wind. Maybe he sensed it. Maybe they were close. Maybe they were, they were you know, boyfriends. I have no idea. 
This dude came running in, though. He was sweating, vein throbbing. Like, this motherfucker didn't even go to school that day. Like, he ran all the way from home. Dude seemed like he was already exhausted. But he's looking at me, shaking. This dude, you know, I done dropped him. He done sunk off into the corner like this. He looks at me, looks down at his buddy, sees him, you know, battered and bruised. And he says, you. And that's how angry this dude is. You know, he can't even fucking form a sentence. This motherfucker is so mad, he's done forgotten how to use the English language properly. So he yells, dude. And like I said, I'm just looking at him. All of a sudden, this dude charges me. Now, this part is one of the funniest moments of my whole life. And probably a gift from, from God or, you know, whoever you follow. But I don't know how it happened. There was either water, maybe piss, maybe one of my buddies got scared for me and, you know, pulled his dick out and peed a little bit. Maybe somebody threw a banana pill. But this motherfucker lost his footing and slipped. You know, all that rage, he couldn't run right. His fucking legs turned into jello or something, turned into some noodles. So he collapses, face first, hits the fucking bathroom tile. And y'all know that bathroom tile's hard. That shit like concrete. And this motherfucker laid there. I thought he was dead. It was like GTA when the, just the blood puddle forms in a perfect circle. But it wasn't that gruesome. Anyway, I wasn't going to take the time to figure out. I got the fuck up out of there. I ran away. And that shows you the mentality of young, you know, kids, man, and the way that that school environment, because I had people being like, yo, Eddie, why'd you run? What do you mean, why'd I run? I, I done, you know, this guy's being a turtle. He's not a human anymore. He's not having a fight. He's doing turtle activities. I'm done with him. This dude ran in, knocked his own damn self out. He's fucking drunk or something. There's nothing else for me to do. I'm out of here. Plus, I'm not trying to get in no trouble. Imagine a teacher walking in right now and seeing that scene. Two dudes laid out, fucking whelps bleeding. They're going to think I'm some kind of menace, man. So I wasn't having that. So I left, went to class, and I actually ended up becoming friends with the guy after that. And I think that's how most fights should go. You know, you should fucking put the dukes up, handle your business, nobody take it overboard, and get all the frustrations out. Then you shake hands, and you, you both grow stronger from it. Just like Craig's dad said, you live to fight another day. And that's some fucking, that's some true, some true shit. That's some true wisdom. So now I've told y'all my fight story, and I want to know about y'all's fight stories. So go ahead, be a homie. In the comments section, let me know how your first fight went. Or maybe even if you didn't have a fight at all, maybe if you just want to, you know, talk about your lack of a fight, I'll listen to whatever. But tell me about your fight, tell me if you won it, if you lost it, if you jumped somebody, if you got jumped, if you found out you were a fucking Power Ranger, the reincarnation of Bruce Lee, I want to hear it all. So let me know in the comments section. Y'all have a great day, stay blessed.